Hello and welcome to our group 10 presentation. My name is Hugh and I will represent my group to introduce our management information system project of a restaurant website. <clears throat> to be specific, our group would like to set a hotpot restaurant called Hati Lao so that we can have a clearer mindset of how a restaurant website would work. This is our table of contents for our today's presentation. First is our, about us. We I will have a short description of our restaurant background so that you can understand what Hati La Hot Pot Restaurant is. Second is GUI. At this point, I will describe our GUI for the website, including how our website should look like and its function for users. Third is the database. I will have an illustration of our database connected with the website. Finally is implementation. I will run our website so that you can have an overview of how it can work. Now, let's move on to our first session about us. As a brief of our restaurant, Hati Lao is a modern hot pot restaurant dedicated to bringing high quality Chinese cuisine to Vietnam. We aim for the best service and the most authentic Chinese hot pot experience in Vietnam by using the highest quality ingredients directly sourced from China for soup broth and the precious meat. On the screen is a short description extracted from our website, which I will show you later. Next is our GUI. In this project, we divide it into two main users for GUI, Customer User Interface, Hereafter Customer UI, and Admin User Interface, Hereafter Admin UI. Both users have some common features. They will start from home screen and lo login form. However, to identify which users, we will have a row ID in the database for each. This ID will be set by different means. For admins, it is manually set, but set up by the host of the database, which means the admin's row ID can only be set in the database from the beginning. For customers, they must complete the register form and fill several personal information, and their row ID will be automatic, automatically set up in the database. The difference between these two rows is at the res reservation tab, which I will show you now. This is the flow of GUI. And this is for customer UI. As you can see, they all start. They start. They start from the home screen with different function and went into the res reservation tab for customer. They only have two options to make a new reservation or to view reservation. However, for admin UI, they also start for, from home screen. But when they come to the reservation tab for admin, they have addition additional functions such as edit schedule, edit table, and view table. Now let's move on to the database. This is our entity relationship diagram, which is only relevant to the re reservation form. And I will explain each entity now. The first entity is user, contains five attributes. User ID is the primary key in this entity. In the database, only the password is encrypted. The second entity is row, contains two attributes. Row ID is the primary key in this entity. We define two rows, number one for customer and number two for manager or admin. When a new user registers a new account, he or she will automatically be row 1. The third entity is table, contains three attributes. Table ID is the primary key in this entity. We define this entity to check the availability of tables in our restaurant. Based on the reservation forms, the manager can modify the number of tables in a specific day. Fourth entity is schedule, contains four attributes. Schedule ID is the primary key in this entity. We define this entity to change the schedule in our restaurant. Only manager or admin can modify this entity in the database. Normal user can check this information in our website. Last but not least is reservation, contains eight attributes. Reservation ID is the partial key in this entity. This entity must rely on user entity. Therefore, this is the weak entity. And this is our class diagram, which is used to describe more specifically the structure of our restaurant reservation website. By showing the system classes, their attributes, their operations or methods, and the relationship among them. Now let's move on to the implementation section, which I will show you how to run our website. First, I will open SAMPP to provide, to provide environments for our website. Our, our environments including Apache and MySQL. Then I open a random web browser to sh and show you the database first. And this is our database. So you can see we have entity sub reservation for for the 
for the reserve table information the row number one is for customer number two is for admin or manager schedule is for the opening time and the closing time for this is for manager or admin to access tables and users when they register into our website now i will i will enter the website and tap the app for it at the beginning as you can see this is our home screen we divide it into three main parts header body and future for easier coding and organizing in header we have the menus for different sections including home screen about us gallery finders sign up and login in future we contain links connect to other social media that restaurant is using to connect with customers and a brief of contact number and the body contains three sections that can be viewed from the header and each section will be moved to whenever the users click on the menus for example i will click on the, the about us and it will jump into this session a brief about our restaurant when i click into gallery it jumps to the gallery sections which will show some pictures about our restaurant and when i click into finders it will jump to into finder sections which will provide some information about address contact number a map and also customer can check the opening days opening hours in a specific day for example i will check up on 6 january and on 6 january the opening time is 12 p.m and the closing time is 12 a.m okay now i will try to sign up as a new customer is the name five and when and this is the success confirmation message and that means i have successfully signed up my account and when when i set up my account the inform the field information will be saved and transferred into the database and this is the information that i just tap and fill in the register form and as you can see only the password of user is encrypted for personal information now i will log in by my new account then we will move to a reservation tab for customer in the first one is to make a new reservation for in the in the restaurant now we try to make a reserve table to have a dinner in Hadilao on 5th january is tomorrow in the time zone from 4 p.m yes it's 6 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 i will have a comment like happy birthday party okay and i have successfully make my reservation and this information when i click to view reservation it will come up this this in this tab you can see your reservation only for your account okay and when i've successfully made my reservation the information will transfer into the database in this entity as you can see this is my reason information i just showed to you and now i i will i will show you in my admin reservation tab in the user entity as you can see this account has number two and that means this account is is for admin or manager okay i will try to log in for you and in the reservation tab for admin admin can do additional function first one is edit schedule to adjust the opening and closing time in a specific day for example i try to adjust the, the time on 7 january 10 10 a.m and closing time is l 11 PM. okay the next one is edit tables to adjust the maximum tables for a specific day for example on 8 january i just want my restaurant to have only 10 tables in at in that day okay and the final one is to view tables this will help me to see and manage all of the reserved table that is the end of our web so that is the end of our presentation. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask us. Thank you for listening.